Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Go to RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfElconquin.com. Tom the Plumber, service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com. live here for game three of day four of the Hinkle Holiday Classic Tournament. Andy Ockham alongside Johnny Jezrowski here. We got a contest here between the Grant Bulldogs and the Crystal Lake Gators. Johnny, this should be a yeah. fun one. I'm excited it for this It should be one. a good game, you know. Crystal Lake South, they're averaging 64 points per game. Grant, 45 points per game. So a lot more scoring than our last game we called. Yes, last game we had the Jefferson Jayhawks and the Grays Lake Central Rams. 61-30 was our final. Grays Lake moving on to the winner's side of their bracket tomorrow. Jefferson will take on Streamwood at 9, which we have. But this should be a fun one. I'm really looking forward to this one. These two, two normally pretty solid programs. Yep. And Crystal Lake will start with the first. It's Nate Stewart finding Cooper LePage. Be a guy to look out for in this one. Missed on the mark there. Rebound to Grant. Three ball in the corner, bucket no good, rebound LePage. We were talking before this, Johnny. LePage is going to be a name that we call a lot here in yep. this contest for the Gators. Yeah, he's averaging 16.7 points per game in the tournament, eighth in the tourney. He's also tied for second with the most threes in the tourney this year, 11, along with teammate Arnav Jain, who also has 11. So we'll, uh, we'll see a lot of the long ball this game. For the Gators. The Gators like to score. Drive in, kick, there's LePage. Gators moving the ball around. In the corner, there's Jane. Down low, no good. Rebound, Grant Carter K from now then. Now bring up Braylon Gray, a freshman we were talking about earlier. Yeah, he's leading the team. Leading the team in points, 11 points per game as a freshman. Should be an exciting four years for Grant basketball, having this guy, leading yeah, scorer sure as a we'll, freshman. I'm sure we'll hear a lot about him. Gray, step back. No good off back iron. Good offensive rebound there for Grant. Possession will stay with them. K, no good. Here come the Gators. Looking corner. Got his man, Stewart, three ball. No good, rebound, Gray. Here come the Bulldogs. Right down the lane, went for the slam. Great. Randall Holm, nonetheless, will finish as Grant draws first blood. Three ball for LePage, no good. Rebound, Svadra, come the Bulldogs. Bobby Gray has it for them. Over to Svedra. Kicking it gray. Corner K. Back to Braylon Gray. Ball movement around the perimeter here for Grant. Down low. Bobby Gray with the left. No good. Rebound the Gators. LePage. They're trying to crack open the scoring for him here. Stewart beating in. Mid-ranger. Good. The Isaiah Kirkin knocking it down for.
Crystal Lake. We're tied. And Gray lost the handle. I'm going to say it was off of the Gators. You already got some subs. So I guess both coaches are going to want to. We're going to see a lot of subs yep. early and often. We're not even halfway through the first yet. Both coaches are prepared for a track meet. Zach Peltz in the game for the Gators. Along with Bernard Morris for Grant. Layup, good. And Randall Holm. He's got both buckets so far in the contest for the Bulldogs. Recently checked in the game. Pelts, no good on the layup. Holm with the rebound. Here comes Braylon Gray. Corner, K. Layup, no good, and a foul. James Otis. Another one of the newly checked in subs for the Bulldogs will head to the line to shoot too. Fouls on Kirking. First toss, no good. Svadra and Ray. As Braylon Gray and Randall Holm will take a seat. So I guess, yeah, substitutions are going to fluctuate a lot. It's going to keep us on our toes, yeah. that's for sure. Second free throw from Otis is good. It's a 5-2 Grant lead. Down low, Kirking. Bucket good. Kirking. Isaiah Kirking. He's got both buckets. Four south. Controlling the pace for them. There's Bobby Gray. Lost the handle. Here come the Gators. Slow down. There's Kirk King with it again. Thought he had it. Corner Pelts. Pelts on the drive with a right. Bucket good in the foul. Zach Pelts. And he'll go to the line to shoot. To the end one. Be a timeout taken here. As this timeout and this game is brought to you by our season sponsor of the Bear Family McDonald's. Proud spot supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. Fun one so far, Johnny, 6'5" little halfway over into the first to this point. Isaiah Kirking controlling the pace of the offense for the Gators. And Randall Holm on the other end also with four for Grant. So I should also mention that this quarter is sponsored by the Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. If you're looking for a brand new or certified pre-owned, it's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Go to Rosen Hyundai and Genesis of Algonquin.com. You know, we were talking about the three ball earlier, and so far we have yet to see one go down for Crystal Lake South. Cooper LePage and Arnav Jain, both with 11 threes in this tournament. So I'm expecting we'll see a lot of those from both of them. Yeah, they are both been held scoreless up to this point. Early, though. Yep. Remember, we've had a couple early starts. I don't know, can we use the morning excuse anymore? This Technically, this game tipped off know. at noon, so I don't yeah. know if we can use, all oh, this game started early. Yeah, so far, our last, our last game started off slow, and this one's starting off a little slow so far as well. I think guys just need to get, you know, it's been a while. I mean, yeah. when was the last time, this was, what, Thursday was the last time we had games for this tournament, I believe? Yeah, so, yeah, so it, uh, it's been Christmas and everything. Yeah, yeah, so it's been a few days. And with the holiday, probably not able to practice yep. as a team, so. Guys are just kind of getting back into it a little. Good trap here by the Gator defense. Spadra thought about a kick to Bobby Gray. Kick in. Hey, got it to go. Carkay. They're all knotted up at seven. Zach Peltz 
drive, no good. Gets his own rebound, that's Cooper LePage. Be an inbound down low for LePage. Knotted up at seven, 3.10 to go. Here in the first quarter, pass stolen, Svantra with the left hand, oh, what a block! Zach Peltz getting up there. Defensive play of the game for sure. Probably the day up to this point. Yeah, it's I mean, holy be. cow. LePage feeding in, pass picked off by Otis. Benches, a little energy starting to get going. We're all warmed up. And it appears in Wayne Bosworth getting into it with the ref. And we're going to get a tech. Seems like that tech will be on the Bulldogs head coach, Bosworth. We do have a replay coming up as Peltz will shoot his technical free throws. Look at this block, man. Holy cow. Got up there. All the way up to the block. And second toss, good. And it'll be 8-7. Possession, the Gators. Energy's kind of getting going. Coach getting his guys fired up for Grant. Trying to get some momentum here. There's Pelts. Pelts swing at Kirking, the two guys who have done the scoring for the Gators up to this point. Pelts step through the lane, and they're going to get Gray for a foul. As we see Randall home for Grant, sprint over to the check-in desk. I feel like we're in for a track meet here, Johnny. Oh, yeah. I've already seen a lot of suns at this point. It's only the first quarter. And the freshman, Braylon Gray, back into the ballgame for the Bulldogs. Energy starting to get going a little bit here. There's Arnav, we talked about him. One of the top scorers for Crystal Lake. Swing it, Kirking, three ball. Drew Iron, no good, rebound down low. Offensive rebound, hustle play. Brady Schroeder. 10-7, Gators. Spadra in the corner. There's Carter K. And they're gonna get Spadra with a travel. Possession to the Gators. Seen some early momentum going here for Crystal Lake South in the first. Type of momentum that they're looking for. Dribble drive, Arnav in the corner. Swing around, look at his ball movement, pelts to Kirking. Three ball, good. Look at Crystal Lake, a six point lead. Warm here, minute 30. Home, drive, they're gonna get him with a charge. It's like Schroeder's down there. May have hit his head as yeah, he went back for the charge. They're gonna get Brady Schroeder a minute. Hope he's all good. And Bernard Morris back in the game for Grant as Schroeder's gonna take a seat. So he's all right. Cooper LePage coming into the game now for the Gators. We have a Rosen replay here. Three nice ball three. for the Gators. Number four, who is not on our roster sheet here. We'll figure it out. We're gonna, we shall identify him. But for the time being, it's a six point game to lead. The page back in the game for him, Pelts. Pelts floater in the lane. Good bucket for Zach Pelts. Leading scorer for the Gators in this quarter. Eight point lead for Crystal Lake. Great Espadra on the drive. Shot block. 
possession will stay with Grant. Spodger trying to find a guy. He's got Morris, nice back cut there by Bernard Morris, layup good. Good, good off ball movement there from Bernard Morris. Cuts the lead down to six. Pelts to LePage. I think they're gonna get Grant on the floor. Morris with the foul. Stewart will sub into the ball game here for Crystal Lake. Got himself a solid quarter as well, feeding into Stewart. They're gonna call all ball, but possession is taken to Gators. Carter K in the ball game now for Grant. Oh, nobody home. Bucket good for Crystal Lake. Crystal Lake, another bucket. Right off of that. It is a 10 point Gator lead, 11 seconds to go. Well, we've seen things starting to heat up here, Andy. We'll talk about it, a little bit of a slow start, maybe because of the holidays. Team's not being able to practice, getting a little bit of their rust off, but we're seeing a lot of action here late in the first quarter. Very good quarter of play here for the Crystal Lake South Gators. Bernard Morris with the ball now. Dribble drive. Otis for three. Good! Carter K knocks one down. Good little switch to end the quarter there for Grant. 19-12 Crystal Lake to end the first quarter. We do have a replay. Rosen Hyundai, nice steal there for the Gators. Huge first quarter on offense. You know me, Johnny, I'm a hustle guy. They're yep. winning the hustle battle right now. For sure. It should be, we're, we're, in for, we're in for a good one here. Second quarter, we'll be coming back your way after this quick break. makes me most proud of our restaurants is our people. Our people who come in and work for us every single day. We try to create an atmosphere of family, an atmosphere of warmth, and an atmosphere of compassion. We're back here for our second quarter of action. 19-12, our, our score. The Gators of Crystal Lake South, currently on top of the Bulldogs from Grant High School. Beating down low. Bucket, no good. On the rebound, count it. Chad Keesgen. Still very much anyone's ball game, Johnny. Yep. Five point lead for the Gators. A lot of good from both sides in the first half. It was a good, just good quarter, clean quarter of basketball. It was good, it was fun to watch. Waiting for the Gators. Beating in. Good defense there by Spadra. Go right into the hands of Carter K. Beating Keeschen. Bucket good. Chad Keeschen. There's Cooper LePage. 
three ball. No good, Keishka with a rebound. Looks like that's a one possession game for Grant. Gray, no good, rebound, loose ball, Stewart's got it, everyone's all over the place. They're gonna call jump. <laughs> Lead possession, the Gators. Bernard Morris in the game for Grant. Page, swing it, three ball, that's good. Arnott, first one of the day, first of many. Arnob Jane, bucket good, six point, Gator lead. Bernard Morris down low, no good, LePage with a rebound. Here comes Cooper LePage. Big pass, drive, layup, no good. Loose ball into the hands of Pelts. Arnav Jane, three ball, count it! Arnav Jane just getting started. Nine point Crystal Lake lead. Keishin, Skadra, thought about it. He's gonna drive, scoop layup. Foul call, he'll go shoot a couple free throws. First one off the mark, as Johnny had mentioned. We now do have, we want to give him credit, he scored seven points in the first quarter for Crystal Lake. A.J. Demerov was not on our roster or on the program for the tournament, want to apologize, but we got it now. And A.J. had himself a great first quarter, putting up seven points. He was the leading scorer for Crystal Lake. Yep. And expect to see more out of him throughout this one. Three ball, Jane. Oh, Johnny, he's getting going. It's hot. It's his third already of the quarter. He's got nine on the quarter now. He's getting, he is getting hot. Svadra, Kiesgen is a now a 12 point Crystal Lake lead. Randall home over to Svadra, to Carter K. Good defense here, good zone presence brought by the Gators. K for three, glass, no good. Rebound, here come the Gators. Here's Zach Peltz. Lost the ball in the lane. Go right back to Cam Miller. You gotta think Arnav Jane's gonna be, they're paying extra He's attention hot. to him now. You gotta get the ball in his hands. Hot hand, LePage, drive. They wanna kick it to him, Peltz, Peltz for three. He got it! It's a three point shootout here at Hinkle. Timeout taken by Grant, 31-16. Like we talked about at the beginning of this game, this team likes to and can shoot the long ball, and we're starting to see that now here in the second quarter. A huge outburst of scoring. And we have a replay coming. Brought to you by the Rosen Hunt Day. Arnav Jane was open, yeah. but Zach Peltz is like, nah, man, I got this. And Cooper that came from Page was able to drive it in, kick it back out to Peltz. Knocked down the wide open three. Now you mentioned LePage, not on the score sheet yet, but he is he's facilitating, he's, he's making huge plays. To this team so the, we, we are marking our scores on here. Scores can be super deceiving. Yeah. I'm gonna say that because Cooper LePage is making plays happen for his team. We're seeing him on the defensive boards. He's running the offense, facilitating, finding open guys like on that last play. Yep. And that's a big thing. You know, being able to make plays without scoring at this level is is very key. Big quarter. Grant is scoreless. I have them at scoreless in this yeah. quarter. 12 0 run for Crystal Lake here in the first three and a half minutes of this one. Loose ball. They're going to give possession to Crystal Lake. I think this is where they're going to really try and yep. separate themselves. Already a good 15 point lead. Sorry, I got Chad Keesden for four points for Grant. So it's a 12 4 run here for the Gators. We're gonna get an offensive foul. Oh, yeah. A lot of the Crystal Lake South fans were not too thrilled 
I don't think the bench was either. At the same time, though, they're currently supporting a 15-point lead. There's a lot yep. to be happy about on that side. Keesgen gets it over the line to Kay. They're bringing this trap-style press defense in a zone fashion from the Gators. Not really allowing anything to be. No entry passes for Grant. They're really making a stick on the perimeter. Bernard Morris for three. Rim no good. Spotra got in there for a rebound, though. There's LePage. No good. Rebound, Keesjian. Grant's leading scorer in the quarter. 13-point lead for the Gators. Turn the ball right back over. Here comes LePage looking for options. He's got pelts oh, right off the hands of Arnov. Jane pass a little too hot to handle. Possession back to Grant. It's been a fun second quarter, Johnny. Oh, yeah. I love watching the action. three ball, so it's all right with me. We got a timeout here. You know, especially when we did three straight from Arnov Jane. It was really getting crazy in here. He's getting hot. Oh, the building very much a fan as this timeout is sponsored by the Rosen Hyundai and Genesis of Algonquin. If you're looking for a brand new or certified pre-owned, it's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Go to Rosen Hyundai and Genesis of Algonquin.com. Big quarter here for the Crystal Lake Gators. A three ball from Zach Peltz and three straight three balls from Arnav Jane. Johnny, it's been the major difference so far in this contest. That's why their lead is as big as it is right now. We're going to continue to see that throughout the game for Crystal Lake South here, that three ball. They love to shoot it. Yeah. Knock them down. And they've, they've seemed to find an answer on the defensive front from Grant as well. Yeah. Only six points this quarter. We see from a zone, they're, there's, they're, they got a zone and then they're trapping at the top. Not They're trying to get that entry pass around the free throw line yeah. for Grant. And, and, and it's they're not allowing it's it. It's working. No entry pass there, so they're making, they're making Grant take the lower percentage shots in the perimeter. Yeah and they're just not able to capitalize. Yeah, you know, I think that pressure at the top of the key there that Crystal Lake South is putting on, it's it's making that offense, making those bad passes, forcing turnovers, and like you said, not taking those good shots. They're not taking some wide open shots, and the Gators aren't giving them that. Grant will have possession here, 334 remaining in the first half. Andy Ockham, Johnny Jazarowski, the Beacon Academy. This is day, day four, game three the Hinkle Holiday Classic Tournament. And the next game will be at 1.30 between Jacobs and Prairie Ridge. The host, Jacobs, trying to put themselves in their winner's bracket for tomorrow. See, so winner, winner of this game will play the winner of that game yep. tomorrow afternoon. And Crystal Lake South is shooting the lights out like they're ready to play one of those two squads tomorrow afternoon. It's into Bobby Gray. He's trying to get something going here. For the Bulldogs, K feeds it in. There's Otis. Otis with the left, no good. And they're gonna say possession to Crystal Lake. AJ Demarov back in the game. Now he's in the game and we have a name yep. for him. So there we go. Go AJ. Jane for three, rim, no good. Keyshawn tips it to himself, board to Grant. Here's Braylon Gray, feeding in to Bobby Gray. No good. Bobby's got it. Good defensive presence there by the Gators. Out and running now. Swinging it around, Jane, three. Short again, still offensive board for the Gators and Kirking. a more experienced Gator squad, and I think they're going to get him for a walk there. As you mentioned, only one sophomore, Colton has the lone sophomore on the Crystal Lake South squad. Upperclassmen the rest of the way. This is a yep. very, it's a very experienced team. Got a lot of chemistry together. Played together multiple seasons. However, then we look on the other side, another very old team. Only one underclass, Braylon Gray, the lone freshman for Grant. Other than that, it's all juniors and seniors. So these are probably two of the older teams in this tournament, more experienced. 
I feel like we didn't have Hinkle last year. Call, I called Hinkle the year before, and I feel like I, I've seen I've, I've seen some of these guys before. Yeah, I think majority of them have been uh, freshmen or senior year high school. Freshmen, sophomores, so yes. As we mentioned, no Hinkle last year. It's great to be back. As we got a little box, coach box on our screen for Coach LePage of Crystal Lake. And that three ball is good for Nate Stewart. He's on the score sheet. Now we see a little bit of a press here by Crystal Lake South. Trying to keep that pressure on. Possession to Grant. It is a 16 point Crystal Lake South lead. It's been a big quarter for them. Grant with only six points. It's been tough for them to find the, find the bucket in this quarter. But, great, but Chris Lake has played such great defense and has really made the difference. Pull up jumper, good. James Otis. 14 point lead now for the Gators. LePage. Cooper LePage, kick out. Bit of a driving kick. Kirk King, no good. Loose ball into the hands of Grant. Bulldogs looking to chip into this lead before halftime. Bobby Gray, through the lane. And a foul will be called. Looks like he's gonna get some free throws. Foul, number second foul of the half for Kirking. And it'll be Bobby Gray to the line. First toss, good. Kirkings coming out of the game for Zach Peltz. We mentioned before, two fouls for Kirking, so give him a little bit of rest. Second toss good for Bobby Gray. There's LePage. Sets in the double kick out. Good ball movement here by the Gators. Demeroff for three, no good. Rebound K and the Bulldogs. Trying to get this lead to single digits. Braylon Gray, through the lane. Layup with traffic, no good. Rebound the Gators. LePage has it, he's gonna slow things down. Bodies on the ground. Possession still with Crystal Lake South, very chaotic possession so far. Demeroff the drive, scoop of the left, and the foul! AJ Demeroff! Amazing drive by Demeroff, able to stay with it somehow through the traffic. He's been very impressive this half for the Gators. Quick sub here, good to see Brady Schroeder's all good. He's back in the game for Nate Stewart. 36-22, Crystal Lake lead. 27 seconds left here in our first half of action. In game three of today, Bobby Gray now in for the Bulldogs. First toss, good. They're holding for the last shot. Braylon Gray, Bobby Gray in the corner. Looking for Keyston down low, can't get him. Good defense by the Gators, denying the entry pass. Bobby Gray, three. Oh, they're gonna get LePage for a foul. That's a big one. Not what they were hoping for to end out this first half. With just one second remaining. on the first toss there for Bobby Gray. Yeah. 
Kirk King into the game now for the Gators. 1.1 remaining, so I'd find it, find it hard to believe if any sort of shot were to get off, especially. Yeah, not a lot of time to get into football. On the We've other seen a side. Lot of crazy things happen in the tournament. Yep. 0 of 3, tip ball gray, it's not going to count. Costly there, missing all three free throws to end the half. Nonetheless, Crystal Lake South 37, Grant 22, heading into halftime. Big, big half here for Crystal Lake. Arnav Jane, those three three-pointers, very, very crucial in the second quarter. Really got the momentum going their way. Crystal Lake just did everything right in the second quarter, Yeah, in I my mean, opinion. Looking at my score sheet here, we had all three pointers except Demarov's and one. layup, what it was a and one, which he got that so I mean Grant's gonna have to stop that three ball coming into the second half. A lot of adjustments to the perimeter defense from Grant. Indeed, we'll be back for our second half of action after this break. Welcome to the Bear Family McDonald's. Thank you. When you adopt a shelter pet,
and this second half of basketball here at the Hinkle Holiday Classic is brought to you by our season sponsor of the Bear Family McDonald's. They're proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. We have a minute till we get underway here in the second half of basketball here from game three, day four, the Hinkle Holiday Classic Tournament here at Jacobs High School with the Beacon Academy. I'm Andy Ockham alongside my good friend, Johnny Jazarowski. Should be a fun half of basketball ahead. So we'd like to shout out our friends over at the Rosen Hyundai in Genesis of Algonquin. If you're looking for a brand new or certified pre-owned, it is express online buying made simple. Go to RosenHyundai.com and Genesis of Algonquin.com. 37-22 our score, Crystal Lake up on the Grant Bulldogs. Johnny, what does Grant need to do to try and chip into this deficit that they're facing heading into the second half? The big thing we saw in that second quarter was Crystal Lake was able to get the three ball going. And Arnav Jane, we saw he hit three in a row. Stewart hit one, Zach Peltz hit one for the Gators. That's gonna be the big thing that Grant needs to stop in this second half is the three ball. Once Crystal Lake gets hot, it's over. They're on a roll. They need to do the opposite approach what Crystal Lake's doing in their defense. Make Make Crystal Lake work inside. Yeah. Guard that perimeter heavy. And with Crystal Lake, they did such a good job, particularly in the second quarter, I think it stood out, is yeah. not allowing that entry pass for Grant's offense. They like to kind of bang bodies down low, try to get the higher percentage shots, and Crystal Lake was forcing them to take perimeter jumpers. And it, it was really paying, it really paid off. They're up 15, they got a nice lead here going in the second half. And they got a lot of high, their high octane offense, they score a lot. It'll be interesting to see how they respond here to the second half. Braylon Gray, we've talked about him a lot. He's not on the score sheet yet today. He's the top scorer for this Grant team, the youngest player on this team. Gray, corner, Carter K for three. Rimmed out, no good, tip rebound, but it'll go to the Gators. I mean, Cam Miller bringing it up for South over to Connor LePage, Cooper LePage, I should say. talked about a little before, Cooper LePage still scoreless in this game, but still a huge contribution to this team as he's making a lot of good passes offensively and defensively still doing a lot for this team. Good swing there. There's Kirking off rim, no good, rebound. Here come the Bulldogs. Bobby Gray, layup down low, no good, rebound Kirking. Good defense there by the Gators. Cooper LePage. Moving around the perimeter, trying to find something. Arnav Jane, three. Back iron, no good. Tip rebound, loose ball. Braylon Gray's got it for the Bulldogs. Here comes Grant. Trying to get something on the board here. In the second half, feed down low. Bobby Gray, good. And Grant will draw first blood here in this second half. Kirking went up for one, couldn't get it. Loose ball on the ground. Trying to get it out, Grant's got it. They got numbers, Randall Holm. Svadra was on the wing, but they instead feed it down to Carter K with the and one. And just like that, Johnny, a free throw made here by Carter K makes it a 10 point ball game. Yeah, I mean, Grant, Grant got down to a pretty, pretty big deficit there in the second quarter, but starting to get things going early on here in the second half. First, and that toss is good for Carter K. Keys Jin. Into the ball game. Here is Nate Stewart. We'll be bringing it up. Over to Jane. Drive here, kick, Kirking, no, Stewart. Good ball movement here by the Gators. LePage, leaning jumper, good. And Cooper LePage on the board. There's Randall Holm. To him, spin, dish down. Keysjin layup, no good. Good rim presence there by Kirking. 
12 point lead for the Gators. They're looking to add here. Dish and drive, Kirking. Getting big, left hand up, good. Isaiah Kirking. 41-27, Gators. On the drive, K. No good, look at Randall Holm. Good heads up play there by Holm. And we're gonna foul here on the Bulldogs. Foul will be on K, his second, team second. Pelts into the ball game here for the Gators. Jane, he got it. Got that lucky bounce. First points of the half for Arnav Jane, making 11 on the contest. Holm, looking down low, he's got Gray. And they're gonna get him with an offensive foul. Everything going the way of Crystal Lake South, a 14 point lead and the ball. It's the second charge drawn by the Gators. We had one, uh, we had one earlier by Brady Schroeder. We're gonna have a replay coming up. Rosen Hyundai. With a nice little finish from earlier from Randall Holm. Called his name a couple times here this afternoon for the Bulldogs. He's gonna be a key factor trying to get them back into this one. Kirking, Holm on him, pull up jumper, good. Isaiah Kirking is on it. Four on the quarter, eight in the game. Okay, somehow stayed in balance, quite impressive. And they're gonna get Kirking with a blocking foul. Believe that is Kirking's third foul on the day. It looks like Coach Matt LePage is gonna leave him in. Yeah. He's liking what he's seeing right now. He's gotta be a little careful here. Early on in the second second half, doesn't want to foul out. There's Kiesgen with the right hand. Bucket good. Chad Kiesgen. There's Arnoff Jane on the baseline. Feels like he's starting to heat up again, John. Yep. 16 point lead for the Gators. Beating down low that ball movement. Randall Holm getting big with it with the left. No good, rebound, Kirking had it. And they're gonna say it last touch K. Possession to Crystal Lake. We got AJ Demarov and Brady Schroeder into the game here for Crystal Lake. We're gonna get a timeout actually. We have a timeout sponsor here from Tom the Plumber. Tom the Plumber Inc. is a family owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installation of the highest quality in craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Finish, visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com or give him a call at 847 513 3971. That's 847 513 3971. 16 point lead for Crystal Lake here. Johnny Grant really hasn't done anything to try and no. chip into that. If anything matters, they've just kind of gotten worse. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like you said, just not really getting anything going offensively, still not able to stop the Gators' offense. I mean, we're not, we're not really seeing any threes here, but we're seeing more uh, pull-up jumpers for the Gators here early on. Their defensive scheme is still working, and I don't think Grant has quite cracked that code either, and no. it's, just, it's gonna be, have to be a game of adjustments at this point. Uh, Crystal Lake South looks very impressive, and they're Isaiah Kirking, Arnav Jane, uh, A.J. Damarov, who's just checking into the game here. Three guys who have really just been really impressive on the ability to score the ball. And then he just got on the score sheet this half, Cooper LePage, but he has just been yep. doing a fantastic job of playing good defense, facilitating the ball. They say the best players, your best players on your team, who are normally your top scorers, they're even more elite when, they, when they're not scoring. When they're not on, they can still find a way to do other things, and we're still calling his name out. Yep. He's only got two points on the game. So... Good showing here for the Gators. They've come out strong here to start the second half. And Cooper LePage gonna try and run his offense here. Kick in the corner, Jane thought about it. Arnav gonna drive in. Scoop, no good. Was looking for a foul, didn't get it. Schroeder's got it. 
He's getting beat up pretty good today. I believe they're gonna get a foul on Grant. James Otis, third foul. For the Grant Jr. Here's Zach Peltz. And a little miscommunication there. It'll be Grant's ball. Seeing the Gators put a little bit more pressure on the top of the key again. Kijan. Over to Bernard Morris is in the game. Loose ball in the hands of Morris. Randall Holm. This is it over to Otis. And ends up in the hands of Morris. Morris walking that baseline, throw it off the back of the basket. It'll go to Cooper LePage and the Gators. Page to Jane. Demarov, there he is. AJ Demarov. He's on the board here for the second half. 12 in the contest now for him. Really close to that half court line there is Gijin. He's got Braylon Gray. Morris. Gray, Gray for three. Front iron, no good. They're going to say it last touched the Gators, so it'll stay here with Grant. Kijin, little layup there, floater I should say, is good. Three ball, good, A.J. Demarov. He's got 15 on the day leading the team now. Kijin, long ball, good. Jed Kijin's at seven on the quarter now. We're opening up the scoring once again. Demarov, he's got the hot hand, the drive. Nice block there by Gray. Braylon Gray, looking up court, he's got Otis. Otis couldn't handle it. Look at the hustle, ball all over the place. Holmes got it now. Holmes, no good, rebound, pelts. Pelts. Good defense there by Gray again. Here comes Kijin. 16 point game. Really doesn't feel like it right now, though. No. A lot of good back and forth here. Gray. Layup. Back iron. No good. James. Oh, ripped out by Holm. Randall Holm. No good. And they're going to say Grant basketball. Now, Johnny, I will say it. I thought the matchup between these two teams felt familiar. And I'm not sure if you remember this. I think you were here for this. It was four years ago. I, I was working the baseline yep. camera right yes. there. It came up on my phone a couple days ago. Grant, Crystal, yep. South. We made Sports Center. We did. You four were on. Years you ago. were on that baseline. I was on the other baseline working yep. camera. They hit that uh, half court buzzer beater. We were on. Uh, we were on Sports Center. We were on Sports Center. Gray, the layup, good. That's why I was gonna. I was gonna tell you before the game. I thought this matchup yes. felt and looked familiar. Yes, four years ago, we were on baseline cameras. Our freshman year. Yeah, freshman now we're in high school. Now we're now we get to actually call these two teams in action. Pretty cool stuff. Bobby Gray. He's gonna take a three. No good front iron. Loose ball rebound. I think that's gonna be out, but they're gonna call Grant basketball. Some of these out of bounds calls have been I yeah. don't know, Johnny. I'm a little, a little iffy. A little iffy on some of these. It's a 14 point game, so Grant is definitely not out of this thing. Yeah, I'll be honest right now, this quarter it does not seem like a 14 point no, game. No, it feels like we're looking at a six, eight point game here. Yeah. Bernard Morris feeds down to Otis, couldn't handle it. We into the hands of Nate Stewart, he's gonna slow things down a little bit, 25 seconds, maybe get the Gators the last shot of the quarter. Kick it out, swing it, LePage. Fade away baseline jumper, no good. And they're gonna say it was last touched by Grant. So Arnaud Jane and Isaiah Kirking, two big time scorers for them in this game, are gonna check in here with this offensive possession, trying to get that extra bucket to extend their lead before the fourth. D 
Feet in, Kirking, speak of it, there he is. Isaiah Kirking. Now he's up to double digits, 10 on the game. Chad Keeshton, he's been the man for them this quarter. Chad, spin move, running out of time, he's gonna have to heave. He got it! What a shot from Chad Keeshton to end the quarter. And we will break down this quarter, preview the fourth after this quick break. What makes me most proud of our restaurants is our people. Our people who come in and work for us every single day. We try to create an atmosphere of family, an atmosphere of warmth, and an atmosphere of compassion. And this fourth quarter of basketball is brought to you by the Rosen Hyundai and Genesis of Algonquin. If you're looking for a brand new or certified pre-owned, it's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Go to Rosen Hyundai and Genesis of Algonquin.com. Well, that was a pretty exciting way to end the quarter, there, Johnny. Buzzer beating fadeaway three-pointer from Chad Keeshton. He had himself a good quarter. Ten points for him. He's got 14 That's in the contest. Crazy. So I'm gonna get a replay of this. For those of you just joining, or for those of you who are like, ah, the end of the quarter, we're not missing much. We're gonna tune out. Look at this. Lost the ball there for a the, second. From the volleyball line, falling down. Great shot there by Chad. It is a 13-point lead for the Gators. I mean, Grant is definitely not out of this. They no. just, I feel like, in my opinion, even though the score really didn't change momentum and just energy, they definitely played their way back into the yeah. game in that last quarter. Air ball there from Kirking. He's going to get it back. Man, they are hustling all over the place. Both teams. Three ball. Pelts. No good. Offensive board. Cam Miller, Arnov, three, no good, rebound Kirking, look at the Gators. Kick out, Stewart, thought about it. Drive, kind of losing the handle. Three, Pelts, no good, can they get it? Finally hauled in by the Bulldogs. They caught a big break there, did Grant, missed opportunity for the Gators. Great defense for Grant, they definitely did luck out out of that. Spot drop. Gray, three for a 10 point game. Iron, no good, loose ball. I believe it's gonna go to Crystal Lake. They're calling a foul on Nate Stewart there. Are we gonna get a foul? That's what it seems like, yeah, yeah foul. foul. I'm not sure wow. what that was. Whoa. It kind of looked like both players were going up for that. That's a little, I'm kind of agreeing with Coach Matt LePage. I'm a little yeah. confused. I, I thought that was just both players going for the yeah. ball. Not much either of them can do. Yeah, whoever did touch last. All right, we're going to get a foul. We'll stay with Grant. Chad Keeson had a great third quarter. Crystal's got him doubled in the corner there. They're bringing back this double team trap style defense. You see two right there. Chad for three. Back iron, no good. Look at the rebound there by Carter K. He has been all over the boards, both sides, offensive and defensive here in this contest. Foul's gonna be on Cam Miller as he checks out of the game. He's in swinging in. There's Chad. Kind of a good pass there to Bobby Gray. spodra has got it. Carter K. Three ball. Glass, no good. Rebound battles are everything right now. We're gonna get a foul. On Crystal oh, the Lake. Foul's gonna be on Crystal Lake. Oh man. They're gonna get Zach Peltz, the ball handler, on the foul. Man, I'm 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 just confused. This is huh. you see Matt LePage there kind of worked up over that. I mean, yeah, I would be too. That is not sure how they call Zach Peltz for the foul there as he was the one handling the ball. Yeah, he had the ball. I'm a little We'll see if any of these calls that impact anything that was stretch. Now, see who's this, who this one's on. This one's gotta be on Grant. 
Yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna get gray on that one. All right. I was gonna say if that yeah. was if that was on Pulse, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, but yeah, those last two fouls on Crystal Lake were uh, interesting. Yeah, we're gonna call it interesting. And there's Cooper LePage. Fade away on the baseline. No good. Great defense by Grant. Really trying to play their way back into it. Gonna need a couple buckets here quick though. Keesjin. Had the hot hand last corner. Gray, kick it. It's Vadra. Corner three. Iron, no good. No score. And yet here in the fourth. As we are now two minutes in. Arnav Jane, kick it down low, Kirking. Baseline jumper, Drew Iron, no good. Keesian with the rebound. Carter K, corner three, no good. Loose ball, Holmes got it, threw it right to LePage. Kirking, three, no good, rebound Grant. It's crazy that we haven't seen a basket here in Nothing. the fourth quarter. It's been a crazy quarter already. Nothing yet. We are just around three minutes into this quarter. No score. Great defense, good rebounding, a lot of good hustle points. Gray, no good, and there it is. Bobby Gray opens the scoring here in the fourth, and it's now an 11-point Gator lead. Kirking. To Arnav Jane. Corner, three, Schroeder. No good, rebound K. Here's Grant's opportunity. Crystal Lake seems to kind of be slumping on the offensive end. Kijin, he was on fire last quarter. K, right back to Kijin. Chad thought about it. The drive, right hand scoop. No good, hole in the rebound. No good, it's tipped. Gray's got it. Look at the hustle from Grant. Really playing their way back into this basketball game. Gray, Kijin, swing it all the way around to Svadra. The drive, the layup, no good. And we're gonna get a foul. Maybe, just maybe, some of these calls might be coming back for Grant yeah. here. Yeah. They got everything going their way right now. This is their opportunity to shorten this lead. Got some subs. And then we're just gonna, we're gonna get a timeout. Yeah, Crystal Lake's gotta find find their way to get back back into rhythm here. It's a 30 second timeout for Grant. And we have a quick timeout reader from Daryl Barnes Photography as this timeout is sponsored by Daryl Barnes Photography. For portraits, family, graduation photos, sports team photos and more, contact Daryl Barnes Photography at darylbarnes.com or give them a call with the number listed on the screen there. Johnny has been a only two point score this quarter. You really can't yeah. say too much about the scoring side of things. No, because it's been a crazy game, even though we've only had one basket scored. It was a great third quarter. A lot of scoring in the third quarter. It's been great defense. Rebounds have been, it, it, getting a rebound is a luxury in this quarter. Yep. It, it, everyone counts. And is, I know there's only half the quarter left, but I mean, hey, 11 point game, Grant's right back. I mean, they're, they're still very yeah. much in this thing. I mean, the way they're playing, they're playing very aggressive and this is, the opportunity for them to come back in this game. Definitely would have needed a couple more baskets down the stretch really would have helped yeah. them. But hey, nonetheless, I mean, they're keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah. I mean, if you can do that, you're definitely in anything. So. The defense is tightened up here. Hasn't allowed a point yet from Crystal Lake. So everything's going their way so far now. They just need to put a couple more points on the board. And it'll be Grant Ball down low on their side. Carter K on the inbound. Keesjan over to K. There's Braylon Gray. Spadra, quick buckets are needed here for Grant. K. Then again, they want, they do want to get, make sure they get a shot they need. K on the layup. It's good. Good game for Carter K. So they cut this lead down to single digits. Crystal Lake, got to start finding their offensive touch once again. LePage had a guy in the corner, but he's going to get some free throws. 
These are these are a necessity. These are a must right here. And we're going to get another timeout. With 3.33 left here in the fourth as this timeout is sponsored by the Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. If you're looking for a brand new or certified pre-owned, it's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Go to RosenHyundai.com and Genesis of Algonquin.com. So, Connor LePage head in the line, possibly giving Crystal Lake their first points of the fourth yep. quarter. This has just been this is this has been fun. Obviously, we're gonna get to see one of these teams tomorrow in our second game. And I've just been really impressed with Crystal Lake's offense. But outside of the fourth, obviously it's been a little bit of a slow fourth, but I know we keep harping on it, but I mean they they've been shooting the lights out for a majority of this game. And it, yeah. it, they're allowed to have this little bit of a a slump period because of how good they shot the ball in the prior three quarters yeah. of this game. Yeah. But I mean, one other thing we haven't really talked about. We've talked about Cooper LePage and how well he's been doing, but he's only got one basket. Yeah. And we got to give a lot of credit to the Grand Defense as Cooper LePage is the eighth leading scorer in this tournament, and yeah. they've only held him to one basket. They're doing. They have a good strategy. They're, they're like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna make other guys. Other guys have got to beat us. Yep. That's. I think that's a strategy you see a lot in basketball in general, especially in tournaments like these. When you when you get to see, watch other games. Yeah. It's all right. Well, we know this guy is their guy. Yeah, you get like, the chance to pick out which player. You got to target this guy and stop him. And they've done just that so far. Like last game with Jefferson, we saw Randy yep. Johnson. It was like, all right, that's the guy we need to stop. Make everyone else beat us. As LePage gets Grant on the scoreboard here in the fourth. Back to a 10 point game. One and two from the line. Keyshawn with a rebound. Three and a half minutes to go here in the fourth. Grant still very much in this game. Taking the corner, Spadra. There it is, Otis. Back to Spadra, gonna try and swing it. He's got Kijan wide open, top of the key. Kijan, Grant's bringing that, that trap style, as yep. you see on our screen. There we have our, our bracket winning trophies that will be handed out tomorrow. The winner of this game will play in their bracket championship. The Otis for three in the corner, no good. The loser will play at 10.30. The game that Johnny and I will call great defense. No foul, Cam Miller. Kirking, fans are riled up about that one. Kick it, Kirking. Under three minutes to go here in the fourth, a 10 point Gator lead. Things are starting to look pretty good for them here. Pelts, LePage, finding his man down low. Cam Miller, that's right off Demerov. I would have said a bucket there might have done yeah. it for the Gators, but I mean, Grant still has life. Yeah, still, Grant's still down by 10, but 227 left in this game. A lot of time left for Grant, but they got to get something going quick. See the Gators put pressure on top of the key again. Here's Kay. Swing it over to Gray. Trying to get something rolling here. They need they need to score quickly. Spin move. He's still end up with the ball. No good. Home. In the foul. They're going to count it. That's exactly what Grant needed. Randall Home able to cut this lead down to seven with the free throw here. No good. Rebound LePage. Staying an eight point lead for the Gators. Two minutes to go here in the third. A bucket here from the Gators could seal the deal. LePage. They're definitely going to take their time, though, Johnny. As, yep. we, as we mentioned, no shot clock. Ooh, and Ooh. there's the foul. So looks like we're going to get a one and one here from Connor Le Cooper LePage. Ooh. 
His first is good. You know, it might be time for Grant to start taking a three ball here. Second is good for LePage. A ten I, point deficit. Now. I agree. Ten point quick threes, quick buckets in general. Yeah. They they can't take their time. They gotta go. Bobby Gray, Braylon Gray now. Great defense here by the Gators. Making things super difficult for the Bulldogs. Kay's gonna take that three ball we were talking about. Back iron, no good. Rebound, LePage. We not gonna get a no foul, foul call here. There. Looks like it's gonna be called out of bounds on LePage. Head coach on the Gators, Matt LePage. Not happy about that one. It's a crucial turnover and see if Grant can capitalize off of that. Crystal, like, I think they're just in the mind. We need, they need to just, they're like, we need to get out of here. Yeah. This is, I think it's safe to say some calls have not gone their way. Yeah. Bobby Gray, jumper, no good. LePage, the rebound. It's a hard foul on Holden there. Yeah. A slight, maybe a slight frustration foul. Yeah. But Paige will go shoot some free throws. First toss of the one and one, no good. Rebound, Grant, well we're gonna get a jump ball. Stay Grant ball. One minute left, down by 10. Gotta put up a quick three. Down low, Schroeder. That should Bucket do it good. for the Gators. And he'll stay with Grant. Still a 12 point game. Keijin gonna take a deep three. He got it. a nine point game, 20 seconds. I mean, that was one of those too little, too little, too late. Real quick, this timeout is sponsored by Gerald Barnes Photography. For portraits, family, graduation photos, sports team photos and more, contact Gerald Barnes Photography at darylbarnes.com. Nine point game, 20 seconds. I think unless, unless something miraculous happens, I do believe this is gonna end up into the victor yeah. in the hands of Crystal Lake and they're gonna play at three o'clock tomorrow afternoon, I do believe. Do a quick Rosen replay. This is a deep three here from Keyes Chad Keyesian. He's had himself a nice little game. He has. Ten points in the last quarter. He had four in the first half. That three there. I put him at 17 on the game. If my math serves me correctly, and it does. He is, he is, I believe, this Please. game's leading score. They're gonna be hungry tomorrow for sure. They will take on the team. If if score holds to true, they will take on the loser of Jacobs and Prairie Ridge, which will happen next. So, should be, regardless, win or lose, good basketball games will be played oh, yeah. tomorrow. It's going to be the best of the best matchups tomorrow as well. Kirking's got it. It looks like they're just going to try and dribble the clock up. Maybe will we get a foul? We do. So the home will foul Arnold Jane as he'll go to the line to shoot a couple free throws. Ninth foul for Grant. We're going to get some subs now, both squads. We got LePage, Schroeder. And Miller into the game for the Gators. Three today. Crystal Lake South 61, the Grant Bulldogs 50. And Prairie Ridge and Jacobs will be next. Let's talk about this one a little bit though, Johnny. Like we mentioned, Arnoff Jane, AJ, I think it's just their defense. We didn't talk yeah. about it. I feel like the defense just yeah. did not get noticed enough. They, I yeah, and Grant's defense really came out to play too in that second half. They were, went down big lead in the first half, but they came. They'll get the, they'll, they'll get the loop. This sports broadcast made possible by contributions from the following. Stop by one of their 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? 
It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Go to RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfElconquin.com. Tom the Plumber, service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography, for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com. <laughs> 